Hey families, I'm Katie, and I am so excited to go on a Bible adventure with you today. Now it's time for Prop Talk. <laughs> Look at this little baby. Raise your hand high up if you wish that you could hold a real baby, or if you had a little baby in your family before. I see your hands raised. Very good. I love to hold real babies. Now, if you wanted to hold a real baby, you would have to sit very still with a calm body, right? Practice with me. Hmm. <laughs> Hi, baby. Oh, Great job. You can be still and calm in your body. Now, is that something that a baby can do? No way! Now, when we talk to a baby, we speak with a soft voice and we say kind words. Can you practice that with your family? Hi, baby. Hi. Shh. Good baby. Mm -hmm. Are you doing it? <laughs> Fantastic! You can be gentle with your voice. Can a baby do that? No way, but you can because you're not a baby. Keeping a calm body and saying kind, soft words is small stuff that gets you ready for big stuff later on, like being a babysitter and helping your family. Now, let's go on our Bible adventure. Are you ready, friends? Shake your hands high in the sky. Woohoo! On your mark, get set, go on a Bible adventure. So much in the Bible for me to know on my Bible adventure. I want to know that God is real. I want to know how I could be his friend. I want to know who Jesus is. I want to find out what the Bible's all about. Hey! Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. La, la, la. On your mark, get set, go on a Bible adventure. So many ways that I will grow on my Bible adventure I'm gonna learn my memory verse I'm gonna pray and talk to God I'm gonna sing new songs to God And keep singing the songs all week long Oh, do 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 La 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 On your mark, get set, go On a Bible adventure Church is a fun place we can go on a Bible adventure. I was just exercising so I can be strong for our Bible adventure. Shake your hands high in the sky if you want to go with me. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Wee! Hi, Emily. Good to see you, friends. Shine, we're just getting ready for our Bible adventure. What question are you trying to answer today? It's a tough one. How can I do big stuff for God? Hey, I know some picture passes that'll help you find the answer. Sweet sassy molassy! I was hoping you'd say that! Now friends, put on your adventure bag with me! Now we can be picture pass guessers together! The first picture pass shows you're really strong! Hmm, which one is it friends? It is the muscle! The muscle shows us we're really strong. Friends, pretend to catch it in your adventure bag. <laughs> <laughs> I caught it, Shine! Now what's next? Well, a baby drinks from this one. A baby? Which one is it, friends? It is the bottle. <laughs> Get your adventure bag ready. Catch that bottle. <laughs> we caught it, Shine. 
Now what's the last picture pass? This one shows a little job I can do when I'm done playing with my toys. A job? Which one is it, friends? The toy box reminds me of cleaning. It must be a clean up picture pass. <laughs> That's right. Friends, pretend to catch it in your adventure bag. <laughs> Friends, count them with me. One, two, three. They're all here. Now let's zip our adventure bag together. Now, now it's, it's time, time to, to fly! fly. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Shine, do you think <gasps> exercising will help me do big stuff for God? Exercise makes your body grow strong, but it doesn't show you're ready to do big stuff for God. Huh? Well, why not? We can find out in the Bible. <gasps> the Bible is God's book for you. You can trust, it's right and true. A baby and a bush. That Bible story's from the book of Exodus. It's about Moses and his sister. Let's watch it and see if they got to do big stuff for God. <laughs> Egypt was filled with Israelites. The new Pharaoh was afraid that the Israelites would become too powerful. So he made them slaves and treated them very badly. Pharaoh ordered that all baby Israelite boys had to be killed. One woman put her baby in a basket and hid him by the river's edge. His sister watched him. Pharaoh's daughter was bathing by the river. She found the baby and decided to keep him. His sister offered their mother's help to care for him. Pharaoh's daughter named him Moses. Moses grew up. One day, he saw an Egyptian beating an Israelite. Moses killed the Egyptian. Then he fled to Midian and was a shepherd for 40 years. Moses was watching his sheep on Mount Horeb. The voice of God spoke from a burning bush. My people are suffering, Moses. I have chosen you to free them. I can't, Moses cried. I'll help you, God promised. Throw down your staff, Moses did. It turned into a snake. When he picked it up, it was a staff again. Put your hand in your cloak, God said. Moses did. He looked. It was covered with disease. When he did it again, it was healed. Show Pharaoh that, God said. I'm not a good speaker, said Moses. I'll give you the words, God said. Your brother Aaron can help. So Moses went to tell Pharaoh to set the Israelites free. Muffins and meatballs! God sent Moses to save the people from Egypt's mean Pharaoh. But Moses had to wait a really long time to do that big stuff for God. That's because Moses made some wrong choices. But Moses' sister was different. Yeah, her mom trusted her to take care of Moses, even though she was still a kid. Kids can do big stuff for God. That's right. When you obey little things each day, you show you're strong for God. And God trusts you to do big stuff for him. I think we can answer the question now. Okay, how can I do big stuff for God? I obey God more each day. <laughs> Wee! I'm gonna go talk to Blinky about that. See ya, Emily! Bye, Shine! Come on! Emily, what's your Bible adventure about today? We're trying to find the answer to the question, how can I do big stuff for God? I obey God more each day. 
That's why I'm always reading my Bible. How does that help you obey and do big stuff for God? Learning from my Bible is something I can do each day to show I'm strong for God. And then you can do big stuff for God, like Moses and his sister. Exactly. Do you have a picture pass about that? Maybe I do. Friends, which picture pass shows you're really strong? It's the muscle. The muscle reminds me to grow strong for God. But you've got to start by obeying little stuff each day. Guy, do you have a Bible verse about that? Of course I do. <laughs> Friends, wiggle your ears if you're ready to say the verse with me. I'm wiggling my ears. Are you wiggling yours? Great. Okay. Luke. 1610, whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. Whoa! <laughs> Guy, my friends and I want to try it too. Okay, repeat after me. Luke 1610. Luke 1610. Whoever. Whoever can be trusted can be trusted with very little with very little can also be trusted can also be trusted with much whoa with much whoa <laughs> <laughs> friends i think we've got it now let's try the whole verse together luke 16:10 Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. Whoa! <laughs> Cartwheel and kittens! That verse shows us to be strong for God. Yeah. When you obey little stuff, God can trust you to do big stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for teaching us that verse, Guy. Sure thing. Bye, guy. Bye, Emily. Bye, friends. <laughs> I'm so strong. Wow, look at this mess. We need to clean up. No way. That's little stuff. I only do big stuff, like running the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Friends, do you think Blinky should clean up? Shine, what do friends say I need to do this little job? If you won't help with little stuff, no one will trust you to do the big stuff. But Shine, I'm no baby bug. I'm super de duper strong. That shows I'm ready for the big stuff. A big, strong body isn't what you need to do big stuff. Even little bugs can do big stuff for God. Well, I asked Jesus to live in me. He's my leader and my best friend. <laughs> That's great, Blinky. Jesus will never leave you. But you still need to grow strong for God. How am I going to do that? Obey the little stuff each day. Then you can be trusted with the big stuff. I'm gonna have to pray about that, cause I don't really like doing the little stuff. God, please help me obey the little stuff each day so I can grow strong for you. In Jesus' name, amen. So, what do you think, Blinky? Should we do this little job? You betcha. Cleaning up is a little job I can obey to show I'm ready for the big stuff. <laughs> Your mom might even ask you to run the vacuum cleaner when we're all finished. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! <laughs> Say the Bible verse.
verse with me. Luke 16, 10. Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. Hwa! <laughs> the muscle reminds me of Moses' sister from the Bible. She did big stuff for God. I bet she grew strong for God by obeying the little things each day. Her mom trusted her to take care of Moses when he was a little baby. Taking care of a baby is big stuff. Friends, pretend to take care of a baby with me. <laughs> shh, 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 shh. Oh. Or in race cars, what's going on in Mr. Music's singing studio? Let's go find out. Come on, friends. Mr. Music, is there a baby in here? Oh no, I was just practicing a funny part of a song I like. <laughs> oh, I know what a baby needs when it's crying. Friends, which picture pass is something babies drink from? It's the bottle! Mr. Music, do you need a bottle? No way. I'm not a baby anymore. Babies can't even obey the little stuff. Yeah, so they really aren't strong enough to do the big stuff for God. Hey, that reminds me of our question. How can I do big stuff for God? Say it with me. I obey God more each day. <laughs> yeah! Oh, Mr. Music, do you have a song about that? I sure do. Friends, clap your hands together if you'd like to sing it with me. I'm clapping my hands. Are you clapping yours? Okay, I'm gonna teach you the funny part first. When I sing I'm not a baby, you cry like a baby and go wham wham. Okay? <laughs> okay. Let's try it. I'm not a baby. Wah, wah. I'm not a baby. Wah, wah. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> now repeat after me. I can do big stuff for God. I can do big stuff for God. Yeah. <laughs> now let's sing the whole song together. <gasps> okay, friends, sing with me. Here we go. Whatever I say. Whatever I say. Whatever I do. Whatever I do. I obey God more each day. I obey God more each day. Yeah. Whenever I'm home, whenever I'm home, wherever I go, wherever I go, I obey God more each day. I obey God more each day. One, two, three. I'm not a baby. Wah, wah. I'm not a baby. Wah, wah. I can do big stuff for God. I can do big stuff for God. I'm not a baby. Wah, wah. I'm not a baby. Wah. I can do big stuff for God. I can do big stuff for God. <laughs> Isn't that fun? <laughs> I love it. Whatever I say. Whatever I say. Whatever I do. Whatever I do. I obey God more each day. I obey God more each day. Yeah. <laughs> whenever I'm home. Whenever I'm home. Wherever I go. Wherever I go. I obey God more each day. I obey God more each day. One, two, three. I'm not a baby. Wah, wah. I'm not a baby. Wah, wah. I can do big stuff for God. I can do big stuff for God. I'm not a baby. Wah, wah. I'm not a baby. Wah, wah. It's a big thing to obey. And I, I obey God, God more each day. day. That's how I know I can do big stuff for God. <laughs> that was great. Now stand to your feet to worship God with music, singing, and dancing. You made my ears One, two. so I can listen. 
you made my eyes One, two So I can see You made my arms One, two So I can praise you You made my heart so Question? Sure did. Shine, ask us the question and my friends and I will tell you the answer. Okay. How can I do big stuff for God? I obey God more each day. <laughs> Way! Great job! Did the picture passes help? Yes. Thanks for helping us get the right ones. The muscle reminds us to grow strong for God by obeying the little things each day. Like our Bible verse says, Luke 16, 10, whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. <laughs> and the bottle reminds us that acting like a baby means you aren't ready to do big stuff for God. But Shine, what about the cleanup picture pass? Well, you have to obey the little stuff.
stuff each day. So God will trust you to do big stuff, right? Yeah. Oh, I get it. Cleaning up is a little job I can do to obey each day. That's right. And if you do it before your mom asks you to. Wow, then I would really be showing God how strong I am for him. Let's pray all of our friends will grow strong for God too. Friends, bow your heads and close your eyes. We're going to talk to God together. Dear God, thank you for trusting us with the big stuff when we obey the little stuff. Help us grow strong in you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. <gasps> Hot diggity doggies, it's time to go. We'll see you next time for another Bible adventure. Bye-bye, friends. Hey, friends, I had so much fun on our Bible adventure with Emily and Shine. Now it's time for Picture Pass. I've got my adventure bag. Do you? <laughs> okay, let's put it on together. One, two, three. Whoosh. <laughs> okay, I have three picture passes. Which one do you think will come out first? That's a good guess. Let's see. What's this one? <laughs> it's clean up. If you clean up every day all by yourself, are you ready to do bigger stuff? Yes, you are. All right. Next one. What's this picture pass? It's a baby bottle. <laughs> now, if you're acting like a baby, are you acting strong for God? No, we don't want to act like a baby. All right, last one. Which one is it? It's a muscle. Good job, friends. Okay, who did Miriam and Moses grow strong for? Do you know? God. <laughs> yes. Those picture passes remind us that I obey God more each day. Let's say our point together. I obey God more each day. Great job. I had so much fun with you. Now we've got some questions to talk about with our families. See you later. Uh -huh.